In this video, we're going to look at the difference between the simple multiplier and just the multiplier. So let's start off by just drawing our equilibrium and our ASAD model. So we have the price level on the y-axis, real output, a real national income, real GDP on the x-axis. Then we have our downward sloping aggregate demand curve our upward sloping AS curve, and we have some short run equilibrium. We have Y0 as our national output, our real national output, and P0 as our price level. So let's imagine that, for example, our government expenditure goes up by $5 billion. So we've known, we know from past videos that this causes a horizontal shift to the right of our AD curve by this change in capital A, so 5 billion times our symbol multiplier. So we're going to have a horizontal shift with this new AD curve and this horizontal shift, let's label that you know, Y prime for now, and the distance between y0 and y prime is going to be 5 billion times that simple multiplier. So if we were interested, if we knew kind of the horizontal shift and we knew how much A went up by or how much government expenditure went up by, we could figure out what the simple multiplier is. So in that sense, the simple multiplier equals, according to this graph, y prime minus y zero, so that horizontal distance, divided by five billion. So in general, we could think of this simple multiplier, simple multiplier, being equal to the horizontal shift of the AD curve over this change in A, so capital A, you know, autonomous aggregate expenditure. So things that don't affect the slope of the AE curve and our demand determined um, output. But we know that equilibrium actually doesn't go up to Y prime because of the price level is going to have to go up, right? So firms aren't willing to supply that much output for the P0. So they're going to start to raise their prices. And so we're actually going to move along the AS curve until we get to, you know, to this point right here, which we're going to label P1 and Y1. And so this distance between Y0 and Y1 is going to be the multiplier. So maybe I'll erase that and put an arrow in because we're getting a little bit messy. It's going to be equal to the multiplier times this change in A, or times 5 billion in this case. So when you think about the multiplier, that's going to be equal to y1 minus y0 over 5 billion. So the multiplier is really about how the equilibrium is changing once we allow the price level to go up. Whereas what the simple multiplier is measuring is the horizontal shift from a one unit change in capital A. So in general, we can think of the multiplier the change in equilibrium y, you know, short run equilibrium y, divided by that change in a. So let's look at a quick example to explore and to practice what we just uh, learned about. So let's just scroll down and I take an example here. And so we're given a diagram with the AD curve shifting to the right. And the question reads, refer to figure 23.5. Suppose that an increase in government purchases by 50 causes the AD curve to shift to the right as shown. So the key thing here is that G is increasing by 50. The simple multiplier is blank 
and the multiplier is blank. So now we just have to apply kind of what we just talked about above to this problem. All right, so we know that the horizontal shift to the right for this AD curve is 200. So if we un want to understand the simple multiplier, remember it equals this horizontal shift divided by the change in A. And so here this horizontal shift is 200, 1100 minus 900, it's the distance between A and B. And we're given the question that G is increasing by 50, so that corresponds that corresponds to a change in A equals 50. So we know that our simple multiplier equals 4. Now if we want to figure out our multiplier, remember that equals the change in equilibrium Y in the short run divided by this change in A, and that equals see the distance between C and A is only 60 so now it's 60 divided by 50 which equals 1.2 so now we have a multiplier of 1.2 and a simple multiplier of 4 and that corresponds to this answer A I guess the correct answer is already highlighted there but this is how you do it